Today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to play Waiting for the Bus and Jesus Just Left Chicago by ZZ Top. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play Waiting for the Bus and Jesus Just Left Chicago by ZZ Top. So let's take a look at these songs. Uh, Billy Gibbons is a great, great blues player, as all of you probably already know that. ZZ Top are an awesome three-piece band from Texas. Uh, these songs that I'm about to show you came off of the album Trace Hombres. Great openers to this album. Great riffs in, the, in these songs. So let's let's start off with Waiting for the Bus. Waiting for the Bus is an A, all right, it's an A minor. So most of these songs, uh, the majority of ZZ Top songs are based off of riffs out of the minor and major pentatonic scales with a few color notes added. So this main riff in Waiting for the Bus is based off the A minor pentatonic scale. So we're going to be in the, this position up here in A minor. So the A minor pentatonic scale being... All right, we're going to be here on this A, on the D string on the 7th fret. So what Billy is doing on that is he's basically going from an A to a G with that rhythm pattern. So when you're doing these pentatonic riffs, you got kind of got to know where your where your tonic note is. Your your if you're an A, you got to know where all the A's are. So A being here, A being here, A being here, A up here. Okay. And then when you know where your thirds are, your thirds really make the blues stand out. The third is the this. If you notice, Billy's bending that minor third up to a major third, which gives it that uh, kind of that major minor mixolydian kind of thing. Blues like to play play around with minor and major. Them being a three-piece band, if if um, you know Dusty's just riding on that A. Billy can be like, or he can change the tonality of the song. So that's what we're, they're doing with this lick. In spirit, it's a minor lick with a little bit of a bend of the major. All right, so once he gets done doing that lick, we're gonna move up to the G string and go. And then go back to the beginning. So that one lick is, and then we're gonna be on the sixth fret on the B string. Okay, if you notice, it's very punctuated, where he's like, I'm kind of bouncing my hand off of the string and palm muting. I'm putting a lot of vibrato on these notes too. You gotta really feel it. You can kind of hit that A, that low A. You can also do that also and it gives a little bit of a, uh, a meat to the tone. Billy didn't do this stuff the same way every single time. I mean, he's a blues guy, he's a rock guy. He's playing whatever comes out of his soul, right? Out of his heart. And then the turnaround. We're gonna go G, and we're gonna bend up a little bit. Low E, 
then we're going to play an E dominant in the seventh. Then to a D dominant in the seventh. So what I'm doing here is, um, if you remember like a C chord is down here like this. If you make it a C dominant seven, you take that shape and you slide it up here. That's an E, that's an E dominant seven chord. We're gonna just play these three notes here with a low E. And I'm gonna use my first three fingers. Less is more in this case. We don't need a whole full full chord to get the point across. Then take that same shape, move it down two frets. I kind of slid into it. Then. And that riff is. So I'm on the D string on, a, on the fifth, D string on the second, pull off and then pick that C on the A string, third fret, pull off, then the G on the third string, A. So all together we have, I'm gonna play the low A string in conjunction with this lick. You can play the D on this. You go on that turnaround before the guitar solo. But it does the whole verse twice before it does it. Before the guitar solo kicks in. So, uh, Basically, after we go, and then right before the guitar solo, like I just said, we go D, D sharp E, and then Billy takes that riff down an octave. He gets a little bit more aggressive with it, more, a little more intentional. And that's that's actually a harmonica solo. There's a harmonica first, and we're still in A minor. We're just taking and we're moving it down to here. So after it does that for several bars, it moves to the guitar solo, and guess what? They modulate to G minor, and they go down two frets. So I'm taking that same riff and I'm playing it down here. And they're doing this G minor pentatonic. So he's, he's soloing in G minor pentatonic. At the end of this lesson, I'll demonstrate uh, some ideas to get you started on pentatonic licks for, uh, the, for G minor, okay? So hang on to the end and I'll give you some little tips and tricks I use for minor blues scaling, scale, <laughs> minor blues soloing, and also major, major minor blues soloing. So after we go, and then they, they modulate one more time in the guitar solo to E. So I took this pattern and I'm moving it up here, starting on the E, on the A string, on the seventh fret. So the whole guitar solo and the harmonica solo is that riff. So the, the harmonica is, is an A. And it modulates down to G minor. And then it goes a few times and goes up to E. Then he comes out just like that little lick I showed you before. And then we go on the D string. It goes seven, five, four. And back to a verse.
All right, so then it, it jumps into uh, Jesus Just Left Chicago. So what I'm doing there is I, we go from the A minor down to the G minor. I'm just doing this major minor, minor major thing. And then the main chords for Jesus Just Left Chicago. It's a G, it's a G sus, G sus four. So it's kind of like we're taking a C chord like this and we're making it into a G. So I'm taking my pinky and my ring finger and I'm playing the G chord like this and I'm muting the A string with the fat of my finger. So it sounds like this. And I'm gonna put these two fingers down. got a really heavily distorted patch on my fractal axate, but I'm rolled back a little bit to get it clean. All right, then he's going to move up to the four. There's two ways you can do this. I've seen Billy Gibbons doing it a little bit more complicated with a, with a huge stretch on it, so I'm going to show you the easy way first. We're going to take this C chord. And we're going to just take our pointer finger and lay it over the D, G, and B strings on the 5th fret. And do that shape. Then back to the G. The way I think Billy does it is he takes this shape and he moves this up to a C chord like this. And he bars like this. We're going to take our pinky and play that C. So this is a C. <laughs> so C would normally be like this. We got to do this shape on top of that. So the only way you can really do that is put your pinky on that C and go. Secret ZZ top chord there. goes to an A, back to a C, so let me show you that lick. So what I'm doing is I'm hammering on, I got my middle, middle finger, I'm on the D string on the third fret, so we're going to hit, ultimately we're going there, but we're going to hit open D like that and then our pinky our ring finger is going to be on this G on the high E string so we're going to go and then hit that that F again and then take your pointer finger and go and go down chromatically so basic basically it's that's the top or the bottom part of that lick you got to put this this pedal tone on the top of it so so up to speed it sounds like very cool lick The hardest part about this song really is this C chord. If you can't do that, just go and let the bass player go. <laughs> All right, so there's Jesus Just Left Chicago. So let's talk about soloing over this song okay so the first first thing i would do would get really familiar with the g minor pentatonic scale in that shape okay and you have to know where your all the g's are so there's a g a g a g and then there's this g 
All right, I'm gonna show you this G because we're gonna move, we're gonna play this over three areas. We're gonna play here, here, and a little bit up here. And there's many, many ways to do this, all right? But this is, a, this is to get you started. So a lot of times you're like, I wish I could play patterns over the neck. This is an introductor, introductory to get you playing out of just one box shape. So when it starts off with, first of all, you don't have to play a bunch of notes to sound awesome. You're, uh, in my opinion, uh, the blues uh, just requires a few notes. And you can play a lot of stuff on just the D and the G string. A lot of guys have made careers like off of those basic notes right there. So when we're going, we can go. Now, in my opinion, what makes those cool is, it, you know, the bends. You got to get really good with your pitch when you bend notes in vibrato. And I'm taking this minor third. And I'm playing with it. You can do ghost bends, which is bend up, and then hit the note and release. Then expand beyond that. Skip around strings like... You can do patterns like go down four and then start on the next note. Go down four. You can go up like that. You can pull off. One important thing about the blues scale is the is actually the blues note, which is the flat five, like this. The devil's note, the tritone. So watch this. We're gonna add, and that's here. It's right here. So you can go. That's why this bend sounds so good. Because we're going. So I'm just giving you ideas on how to handle these blues scales and make them sound a little bit more fluid with a little bit of personality. And you know, what, this, I'm just telling you what I do and what works for me and what I think sounds good. Now, one cool thing is to. Uh, you can take the, the G minor pentatonic scale can be played all over the fretboard. These notes exist everywhere, right? But one, one good way to get out of this box is to stay on the low E string and play this pattern and then bring it up. There's your G. So if you're going down the pentatonic, you can go. Add some flavor. And when you get up to the G string, you can go. And there's your G right there. So what I'm doing is. I'm just playing patterns. I'm just improvising. Go. And that's where you get, um, you start to learn little things like 
like playing two notes together, adding, adding two notes in the same pentatonic scale. Those are called double stops. That's where Chuck Berry got all that. It all kind of started with Chuck Berry. <laughs> So, I mean, that, this is why the blues scale has fed guitar players for decades and decades because there's so much you can do with it and it sounds so cool. So, any of the stuff I just showed you will work great over, over anything in G minor. You can, you can take these shapes and move them up anywhere. So, you can, you can take the same concept and move it to A minor or C minor, E minor. Um, you just have to remember the, the geometrical patterns on the fretboard and once you get really familiar with it and used to it in a certain area, then, then start playing it in some other keys. Jam to some uh, backing tracks on YouTube. Uh, it'll help you with your timing and record yourself. Even if you've got to record it on your iPhone, if you've got Pro Tools or Logic or something, download a backing track and, and record yourself like you're recording a session and uh, go back and listen to it. and over the over the months and you know over a year's time you'll go back and listen to your improvisation and in your abilities and you'll be able to see where you've grown and developed as a player and you'll also be able to uh, hear what you did wrong you got to be honest with yourself and know where you got to improve and work on that too but that's probably one of the biggest ways to uh, learn how to improvise and and learn about tone and getting better so anyway that was a ZZ Top lesson for Waiting for the Bus and Jesus Just Left Chicago. I hope you like the content. Um, please consider subscribing, comment below, and as always, have a great day. Peace out.